Right, I'm gonna show you how we took a site from zero to over 10K a month with AI SEO. That is by leveraging AI to generate and publish content 100% on autopilot. Here's a screenshot from Google Search Console when the work started in you know, the midst of October, actually beginning of October, the growth is clear. This is a screenshot for the organic traffic, which grew insanely. And this is a screenshot for the organic your rankings, which grew also insanely. Now, before I go over this, I wanna go over the software. This is the software used, it's called Journalist AI. If you go to tryjournalist.com, you'll be able to use it. But before I show you how it works and all this, I wanna show you how the articles look like because I think that's the biggest thing here is to show you what the output is like. So if you just go here to my history and just select this one, this is an article or these are a few articles in the gardening niche. So all of this is done with AI. The in article images, right? The structuring, the internal links, the external links, even the videos that are relevant to the article itself, right? Uh, more internal links, more images, uh, tables, bullets, and FAQ section down here. And also a call to action in this case to this Shopify store, right? That sells gardening supplies. This is an article that we should be posting on this Shopify star blog again. All this was done through AI and I can just skim through these and post them to my integrations one by one or I can just click here, publish all and it'll publish all three. Now, by the way, integrations are these right here, essentially where you can publish content to. WordPress, Shopify, Ghost, Weeks, Webflow, Blogger, Zapier or an external API. Now you can do this manually or you can just click here, auto blog and set up an auto blog, which was what this person did. Uh, just go here. I won't do it right now. I'll show you what you can do with this. Essentially, you can set, like, select sorry, how many blog posts you want to publish every single month, week, day, 12 or 6 hours. So essentially, what you're doing here is you're connecting Journalist AI with your website right here. And every single, uh, in this case, day, uh, Journalist AI will generate, right, plus publish a blog post. In, these are individual blog posts, right, every single day. And if we expand on one of these blog posts, right? These will all have a featured image, as you saw before, a table of contents, right? Interactive, proper article structuring, in article uh, in article images, sorry, that are relevant to what the content is about, in article videos, um, bullets, tables, quotes, internal links, so linking out to other blog posts you've written, right? These interlink between each other, maybe linking out to your site's homepage, your site's contacts page, right? External links, so linking out to other authority sources in your niche. So for example, if this article is about finance, linking out to uh, Investopedia, uh, TechCrunch, Bloomberg, all these um, finance authority sources. And down here, also a call to action, as you saw before, to either your product or service. So this whole paragraph will be um, will be in the context of the article as a whole, right? As well as the anchor text and the link that link out to your product or service. So all these, again, all these articles will be like that. And also, generally, in this case, sorry, 80 every single day, but you can choose the frequency you want. Also, Journalist indexes the content in Google for you just by clicking here, indexers, you can set that up. Plus, it does the keyword research for you. So it tells you what keywords you should be producing content for. Indexers right here, just set it up real quick, super easy, but here, the keyword research, I won't do this right now, and I'll show you how it works for this um, blog right here in the gardening niche. I just click this one and you give it the name, right? The site, your country, language. It takes this plus the competitors and comes up with a list of low SEO difficulty keywords. So keywords that are easy to rank for in theory and that have some decent monthly search volumes. And you can just select the ones you want, right? Like so, and produce content around them, right? So again, Journalist CI does the keyword research there's the content generation, content publishing, and indexing, right? And that's exactly how this person was able to achieve this. This is in the nightlife niche. So essentially the deal they had was he'd send leads to this guy's uh, sites. They had different uh, events at different uh, weeks and they would pay him a commission per how many people he'd get in to buy the tickets um, on the on, the, on that specific, specific event. Now, one thing really cool here is if you go to generate articles, there's all these modes, simple mode, you can see the URL, the description, select how many articles you want, select the language you can generate content in over 150 different languages, click generate, there's a titles mode where you give it titles to generate the content, there's a keywords mode, but the good thing about it is the advanced mode, right? This is where the fun things happen, right? Because this is where you can have a lot more control over the output of the article. I'll, I'll run through this real quick. The first step right here is you choose, choose the generation mode. You can select a brand. So if you connect your brand, just go here. Sorry, if you select the brand you want, you have to create one first. But when you create the brand, you do so by, by going here to brands. You're essentially connecting your brand 
that has multiple assets associated with it, whether it's your website, your LinkedIn page, your YouTube, uh, some text documents, some audio documents, all these are brands assets, right? And you're connecting your brand with Journalist AI. So now Journalist AI knows as much as you do, you being the founder or the owner of the brand, uh, and it's able to produce non-generic brand tailored content with your brand's mannerisms, brand's tone of voice, brand's images. So it's, it's pretty powerful, right? Uh, second, the content, again, you can select from over 150 different languages. So if you're producing content for or targeting international markets, this is very good, right? You can even have, let's say you have a Shopify store and you're selling to the whole world. You might want to have a blog that's tailored for certain languages. Or even, for example, if you're a plumber in, in New York City, right? NYC, uh, most people speak English, right? But there's surely some neighborhoods where people speak Spanish. You can produce content in Spanish and have, place it on a, a certain page on your site. So it's pretty powerful, this. You can change the levels of creativity with this, more original or more factual, change the tone of voice, uh, change the point of view as well. Um, here in this structure, you can add, this is where you add your call to action, right? At the bottom of the article, we'll add always a, a section if you want, right? Uh, with a call to action to your product or service. You can enable disable the key takeaways section, which I'll, I'll, I think I showed you before, right? How, how it work. Uh, I'll show you again right here. If I just go here real quick, the key takeaway section is this. Uh, this one doesn't have it. Sorry. Let's go to this one right here. The key takeaway section is this section at the top of each article that essentially condenses the information of what the article is going to be speaking about, right? Um, you can enable and disable conclusion, FAQs, and you can automate your headings or you can just do them manually if you like. And here you can select the length of the article. Internal linking, this is again where you set up so that your article, right, has links in it that link out to other blog posts of yours, your homepage, your contacts page, your service page, testimonials, right? You set this up here by placing in your sitemap URL, pretty straightforward. External linking with just the toggle of a button you can enable so that again, in your article, there's links internally that link out to authoritative sources in your niche. Again, none of this is random. The links are placed carefully inside of the article and you can add them manually if you want or you can just automate this images. These are the in-article images or featured images, uh, however you want. You can use Google license-free photos, stock images, your own images or AI images. These look amazing if you want to try them out. And also you can um, play around with how you want the images to be like. Uh, illustrative, hyper-realistic, uh, vector, you can play around with this. It's pretty fun. And videos on here is you just enable this and we'll scrape. So we'll generate the article, read through the article, then go on YouTube and find what's the best video we can place in your article that's relevant to your article and we'll place a link in your, we'll place a video in your article automatically or you can just do this manually and add your videos here. Select how many articles you want, right? Click generate and there you go. Now again, if you wanna automate the process, just set up an auto blog and every single day, week or every hour, Journalist AI is gonna be posting content to your site. That's exactly how he did it, right? That's how we made this money. That's how we grew the site this fast, right? Look look at the growth for the organic traffic. It's, it's insane, right? Look at the growth for the number of organic keyword rankings, almost 6,000 6, keywords ranking, right? Super, super interesting. Now, one thing you have to take into account is that don't trust these figures a lot. What do I mean by this? I mean, these figures are great, they're high, but this is just a number, right? Because you, you could be ranking for almost 6,000 keywords, but if they are not buyer intent keywords, they're not pointless, but they're very, they're worth very little. What do I mean by this? Most of these, most of these keywords were buyer intent, not all, of course, but let me give you an example. Let's say, for example, I have an iPhone repair, sh repair shop. I repair iPhones. I want to get people in to repair their iPhones. I want to target buyer intent keywords. For example, how to repair my iPhone or where to repair my iPhone. I don't want to target keywords like, um, sorry, excuse me, let me go over this again. I want to target, target, target buyer intent keywords. So how much does it cost to repair my iPhone or where to repair my iPhone? I do not want to target keywords that like how, because people searching for how to repair their iPhone, they want to do it themselves, right? But people searching for how much or where, they want someone to do it for them, right? And these are the keywords I want to target, bar intent keywords, right? So with a grain of salt, I mean, this traffic, if this traffic is all non bar intent, it's not pointless, but it's very, it's worth very little. So that's why I want to target bar intent keywords. And I can do a video solely on that, but the, the keyword monitors here do help. If you just go here, add your site, do all this, um, it, it does help because it, it'll come up with, it will come up with some bar intent keywords, which is pretty, pretty interesting. So yeah, that's essentially it. That's how we did it using AI, leveraging AI tools. And the reality is that if you're not leveraging AI, you're going to get left behind. And I often give this analogy right here of the stairs. Let's call up here success. Let's call it money. Previously, to produce content, you had to do it manually, right? You had to figure out, do the keyword research, figure out what you want to write about, then write the content, 
then figure out the best places to add links to internal links, external links, uh, then source the images, then add the images to the article, do the same with the videos. I mean, it took so much, right? With a tool like this, with Journalist AI at tryjournalistai.com, you skip all these steps ahead, right? Because it does the keyword research for you automatically. It does the content generation, does the content publishing and content indexation. And in the generation part, it sources you the images, sources you the videos, adds the internal links, adds the, adds the external links, adds the tables, adds, adds so much. As, as, the, as I showed you before, right? the articles are rich in uh, features, right? So you skip all this line because it does it automatically for you. And because you're able to increase the speed at which you produce content, right? You're able to see much faster what works and what doesn't. So you're able to, you're able, sorry, to iterate much faster. And that's the only way to success is iteration. So yeah, that's it. That's the video. Again, I'll leave a link for this software in the description. You can try it for free. Let me know what you think. And yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.